So, confirmed by the producer, Pirates of the Caribbean reboot is in the works. So we've been hearing about this for the past few weeks, that, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean is going to be doing a reboot, and there's going to be a female lead. But there's a lot of discussion up in the air as to who's going to be leading the franchise, with a couple of names being passed around, which we're going to dive into in this article. And by the way, this news comes to us from comicflicknews.com. So, initially poised for a female lead revival, a female-led revival, sorry, with Margot Robbie, recent whispers suggest a new actress may be stepping into the spotlight. So, Jerry Bruckheimer confirms Pirates of the Caribbean reboot with a new cast. Johnny Depp is out as Jack Sparrow. Yeah, it kind of sucks to hear that. Obviously, Jack Sparrow was let go from Disney after the whole situation with him and Amber Heard. That's a whole long story we don't need to get into. But he was kind of the face of the franchise. The story kind of revolved around him and, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow. And the fact that he's not going to be there is going to be such a shame. It's going to feel like the heart of the franchise is missing. Can they reboot and reinvent the franchise around a new actor or actress? It's hard to tell at this point, but I'm definitely going to try and, um, you know, leave my expectations at the door. And I'm going to see if they can sort of win me over when it comes to a new lead actor. So longtime producer of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Jerry Bruckheimer, has officially confirmed that the iconic series is set for a reboot with an all-new cast. In a recent interview with comic book movie uh, with CB.com, sorry, uh, Bruckheimer hinted at the challenges of casting, drawing parallels to the upcoming Top Gun sequel. He stated, you know, um, you really don't know, but we're going to reboot Pirates, so that's easier to put together because you don't have to wait for certain actors. Um... You don't know, you really don't know, but we're going to reboot Pirates, so that's easier to put together because you don't have to wait for certain actors. So it sounds like they did have a particular actor in mind, but they don't want to have to wait around for that person, so they're going to reboot it and bring in new actors. That's what it sounds like from this quote here. Very strange, but um, I guess they have a plan going forward. So this revelation comes amid swirling rumours about Disney's decision to part ways with Johnny Depp. That was a massive mistake, especially following the controversy involving Amber Heard. Reports suggest that Disney opted for a Margot Robbie-led female-centric Pirates of the Caribbean movie over the traditional sixth sequel, especially signalling Depp's exit from the franchise. But yeah, like I'm saying, you know, just reboot the franchise, reinvent it for a new generation, and hopefully it will bring in new audiences and they can continue to create, you know, a great Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Because those earlier movies were so, so fun. I loved them. Swashbuckling adventure, Pirates on the high seas, just doing piratey stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you kind of needed and um it was just really fun those movies i really loved them so as the tides of uh change sweep through the pirates universe fans eagerly await further updates on this bold new direction for the beloved series yeah it'd be so so interesting to see who they get cast in the lead roles um you know and where they're going to go with the franchise you know how are they going to sort of make it different from what came before it where are they going to take it what's the story going to be that's going to be so so interesting to find out but we have a fan made poster here of margot robbie what she could potentially look like in the series in the series if she was cast this comes to us from uh, instagram diamond dead diamond dead so if you want to look up more of this person's work go ahead their um hashtag is diamond dead or their username whichever you want to call it and uh yeah this picture looks awesome you know seeing margot robbie as a pirate in pirates of the caribbean i think she would be incredible she's you know a world well talented actress and um i think she would come in and do a great job but um We'll have to see if she does, in fact, land the role in the Pirates movie going forward. So, will the reboot be a female lead? Um, personally, I don't really care. Male, female, doesn't really bother me. As long as the characters are written well and the plot is good, like, I don't really care, you know, um, who leads the movie, in all honesty. Despite previous reports suggesting otherwise, a fresh rumour has surfaced indicating that Disney is still committed to bringing a female-centric Pirates of the Caribbean movie to the big screen. Margot Robbie's earlier statement in February seemed to imply a shift in Disney's plans, but whispers now suggest a different trajectory. According to the latest speculation, Disney is eyeing um, Ayo Ediberi, um, known for her work uh, on The Big Mouth, Clone High, The Bear, and most recently as the voice of April O'Neil in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem animated movie, for a leading role in the upcoming Pirates adventure. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know anything about this actress. I can't really talk to her talent or what she's done before. I haven't really seen her in anything. I've seen, um, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. I had no idea she was voicing um, April uh, April O'Neil in that movie. But um, other than that, I have no exposure to this actress whatsoever. She could be world class. I really don't know. So it's hard for me to speak to whether she would be a good casting or not. 
People may enjoy her, I don't know, but like I say, because I haven't had any exposure, it's hard for me to comment. But it's interesting that her name is kind of um, in there with Margot Robbie, as potentially leading uh, the Pirates franchise going forward. So, it's high on the Disney priority list. Walt Disney Studios Motion Picture Production President Sean Bailey also said back in June of last year that rebooting the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was a priority for Disney. Absolutely. It's a cash cow. It's a four quadrant movie, swashbuckling adventure on the high seas. There's a lot of people that love the Pirates of the Caribbean, the merchandise that comes with it, the clothing, everything. You know, it's just a cash cow and generates a lot of money for um, Disney. So, of course, it's going to be a priority. Quote, we think we have a really good idea, um, exciting story that honors the films that have come before it, but also have something new to say, Bailey told the New York Times. It is reported that there have been a couple of different scripts with various writers attached to Pirates of the Caribbean reboot at one time or another. So it sounds like they've had writers come in and then leave for whatever reason, which isn't a good sign. Having writers kind of coming and going is never a good sign. So is there a bit of turmoil going on behind the scenes that we don't actually know about? There could possibly be something like that going on. But um, I'm sure we would hear about it in due course if there is. So we'll have to wait and see what Disney has in store. The female-led uh, Disney movies haven't been all that successful. And Disney CEO Bob Iger is reported to have said Disney is bringing back the boys. So unless Disney simply doesn't care if the reboot is a success, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Of course they care if it's a success. You know, if they're spending like $200 million on production and then, you know, 50, 60 million on marketing, then of course, you know, they care about generating money from it. Um, it should probably uh, strongly consider how it approaches the reboot. Yeah, I mean, fans are very, very wary, like, are very, very wary about what Disney are doing in this day and age, especially with all the woke stuff that Disney is putting out at the moment. People are very, very choosy when it comes to Disney content. So they better be very, very careful on how they market this content going forward, what they choose to do with it. Because if Disney does one wrong thing, it causes so much controversy online, especially being in the film circles like what we are. You know, you see Disney do the wrong casting or the wrong storyline or the wrong plot. It just causes controversy all over the place. And it's the last thing you want when you're trying to promote a movie. But guys, let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for more Pirates of the Caribbean movies if they go back and reboot the series with a female-led cast? Potentially having um, Ao Ediberi. I have no exposure, but maybe you guys have. And, you know, what would you think about her being in Pirates of the Caribbean? And what would you think about... Um, margot robbie as well participating in pirates of the caribbean going forward leave all your comments down in the comment section and i would love to hear what you have to say about pirates of the caribbean